Hello, Paul again here from EMD Motorsport. I uh, just want to show you guys what happened. So, when I show you the quick video of before, it doesn't really justify the stuff that I had to go through to actually fix the car. It's just a quick video and it looks easy, but not. <laughs> Usually when you go, usually when you have a zero volts there, it's really hard to actually make it open. Uh, sometimes you gotta try so many uh, different scan tools or different attempts using the actual my experience basically. To because I, I deal with a lot of uh, lithium battery repairs and I I do so many on the Lamborghinis Urus and the Porsche Cayenne by actually converting the lithium battery to AGM so you don't have a problem with the lithium battery but because this one here is the 48 volt battery at the back here it's a bit challenging because it's got a separate computer inside and a separate computer outside inside the car to actually control this one here they, they've got to be happy otherwise it won't even charge the actual battery when the car's running the alternator won't work so now let's cut the talk no more let's just is the time to actually test it it's about 65% or 50, I'm not sure, 59% uh, the actual charge rate. So I got it out, I got it up to about 59% the SOC state of charge. So let's just check the back here. Okay, the back here is saying 46, 47 volts DC, 48 volts DC, that's good news. Once you see anything 40, I don't care, it's, I'm happy. Once you get to 40 volts, it's going to keep going up. So if you got something under 40 volts, it's going to keep going down. Something like that. Anyway, so I've got the key now. So still going to do a few things tomorrow to make sure it's 100%. But these last days, man, I'm, my hair is going white. <laughs> I'm actually, nothing works. Tried so many times to charge the battery, nothing works. Alternator didn't charge properly, nothing works. Anyway, let's go back to this car. Unlock the car. All right, let's go back inside the car. All right, that's good news. All right, chuck the key there. Put the ignition on. Ignition on. All right. Well, there's no battery uh, light coming on here. Usually, you see a battery light pump up. Sorry, pop up at the actual screen. Well. That's good news. Now let's, let's let's start the car first and make sure the alternator works and make sure there's no more lights when you start up. Yep, car started. I hate that thing. Perfect. No more lights coming on. Oh man. Whew. One of those jobs that you can't even describe it. If you're a mechanic, you understand what I'm talking about. You've got to do it with experience. The book doesn't work anymore. <laughs> nothing works. When nothing works, you've got to sort of refer back to all the cars that you fixed in the, in the past to make it work. But anyway, now let's do the, let's do the alternator test. All right, the alternator is running at 12.21 volts. 29 volts so if I rev it it should go up all right let's rev it there you go 13.18 volts so sometimes on this 48 volt system battery systems uh, you might check the multi your voltage and it says 12.23 volts okay a 12.2 one and you think that the alternator is not charging but it doesn't it won't charge because it's got a two computers to work with and they turn the charger will come on and off sometimes the alternator is charging the back battery like this one here but you got to rev it once you rev it the, alt the alternator will cut in so now it's running at 48 volts, beautiful, 49 volts, even better, 50, anyway, so there's no more battery light, no more battery light on this vehicle, 
and then the alternator you saw the number there did change up to 13 so last time it went up to 14 it all depends on how uh, the alternator will will cut in only when the power is low a certain certain voltage or certain um, SOCs it works on SOCs doesn't doesn't work on voltage so SOC is the state of charge of uh, let me put the light on state of charge of this battery 12 volt battery and the state of charge of this 48 volt battery so the new system on Audi, Porsche, Volkswagen and all these new cars they work on SOCs they don't necessarily work on voltage so if you look at that 12.2 volts doesn't mean it's not charging it means it's working but you got to rev it up for the actual number to change so let me do it again see if I can make it change to higher to 14 volts all right All right, 100% the alternator is ch charging because it was, if it wasn't charging, it will be just showing up a light here saying uh, charging system or battery system or some kind of system in yellow or in red. All right, at the moment, I'm really happy with this, this car, so I've got to finalize the car tomorrow. I uh, have a cup of tea, I'm going to have a cup of coffee now. So, what time is it? Nearly 6, six o'clock? Yeah, 5.30, time for coffee. Anyway, so I can turn this car off. That's another car fixed. So tomorrow we're gonna, actually I'll turn this off as well. I don't need that on. Turn off, off, that's off, okay. I'm just gonna leave this here, lock this in my hand. All right, everything is off. I don't need the battery charger on, there's no need for it. So I'm just gonna switch the light off. Okay, thanks for watching guys, hope this video can help someone out there understand this uh, complicated system complicated system by uh, complication by Audi and Porsche, the German style, might have just one charger, what's wrong with one battery, <laughs> just have one battery man, anyway thanks for watching and please subscribe.